Origin by Dan Brown. This is 632 pages, 106 chapters. Super short, super fast. Indiana Jones type adventure. Uh, this is a Robert Langdon novel and it is the fifth book after Inferno. So the premise is Robert Langdon as a teacher um, is visiting Spain and he gets called uh, by a student to this presentation at a museum. And so he visits the museum and it's shrouded in mystery only that the uh, you know presenter is a former student of his and that he's answering a question that everyone has always wondered where do we come from and where are we going right basic human questions that really um, have been answered by the realm of religion uh, and so this kind of butts heads in that uh, this is a computer scientist he's an atheist the presenter uh, who you know set this whole thing up at the museum and so he builds all this excitement and you know sets up this big meeting and all that stuff at the museum but it's very secretive it doesn't tell anybody what the contents are and the uh, museum curator agrees to do this presentation without knowing much about it so uh, lots of different uh, uh, things all come together in that as the presentation happens the uh, presenter is shot and so the presentation doesn't actually happen and so there's the mystery builds and there's this kind of worldwide um, I wouldn't say manhunt but you know media frenzy around you know what was this giant presentation and why was it worth killing for and so centered around the Guggenheim Museum in Spain uh, you know Robert Langdon and the museum curator travel around trying to unlock this presentation and show that they're not part of this you know conspiracy and they're they're not <laughs> they should be in trouble but they're trying to help solve the mystery while being chased by uh, the police but also like the Secret Service so the the museum director is engaged to the Prince of Spain and so that's one of the big storylines here is you kind of got Lewis uh, you know versus everyone you've got the Prince and the museum director who both think the other is doing something but aren't communicating properly so that kind of builds some tension there and then you've got everybody wondering what the church's role in this whole thing is because um, about a week or two before this presentation, the um, you know billionaire computer science atheist guy Kirsch he presented he gave this presentation in full to three tr religious leaders of different religions, the three prominent uh, religions at the time, and so uh, you know. <laughs> the secret could get out he requests that they keep it secret and says hey I'm gonna present this in a month from now but then ends up doing it a few days later you know they have mysterious circumstances around them so that adds to the mystery the fuel and really um, you know they meet uh, Robert Langdon meets with his protege or his former student and gets some cryptic symbols and clues about where to go next and it all centers around a cell phone he would trigger the the presentation from his cell phone with a password that is a poem and so you know the the symbologist Robert Langdon is scouring Spain for you know a poem that fits this certain criteria that would trigger this presentation and you know solve the mystery and clear everybody's name so <laughs> I really liked that there were short chapters uh, it didn't really feel like 600 pages to me. Um, this is the you know paperback version. I think the hardcover is even shorter. Um, yeah, I, it really kept me guessing the mystery. You know, I didn't feel like I knew what was going to happen. Uh, you know, those big questions that kept me hooked and kept me engaged and wanting to find out more. Um, you know, and it wasn't a struggle. Like I didn't know a whole lot about AI. So for me, that wasn't a roadblock. Like the technology didn't get in the way of um, the reading. Uh, you know, it was meant to be for a, a mass audience, not, you know, someone who's specialized in AI. But that was cool. That was a neat feature there, that technology. Some things I didn't like, uh, really somebody told me once that, uh, 
any romantic comedy can be resolved by just the two main characters talking to one another. I feel like there was a part of that here where, you know, uh, the prince and the museum director, if they had just talked openly, like, their storyline may not have even been an issue. So there was a little bit of that. Not the whole thing, but, you know, I'd say a third of it, a major chunk of the plot could have just been, you know, like, hey, we just talked it over. But, um, so another thing I didn't like was, um, you know, the main uh, guy that it's centered around, he kept his work secret for so long in a solo capacity. I get it, computer scientists work alone, all that good stuff, but I still feel like there were so many other things, which at the end they did kind of give reasons for why he was working alone, but I still feel like it would have gotten out that, you know, nobody can keep a secret for very long. And I feel like even with NDAs, uh, non-disclosure agreements and all that, he still would have, I feel like there would have been a little bit of a, you know, something would have leaked out. That's what I was trying to say. But either way, those are the only two things I didn't like. Great book. Pages flew by. You know, the chapters, I think there's like, half the chapters are like one or two pages. So like the average chapter length is like four or five, six pages. It's super like easy to get into and put down and pick back up. So it's great for if you're waiting in line somewhere or in a waiting room. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. So a uh, quote that I liked was at the very opening. We must be willing to get rid of the life we planned so as to have the life that's waiting for us. Joseph Campbell. It was a really neat book. Lots of twists, lots of turns. And, you know, I didn't see uh, how this was going to resolve because, you know, there's big overarching questions. Everybody's kind of tangled up in this mess. And it was really a Indiana Jones type adventure. Robert Langdon is, you know, a professor and he's in this, you know, not instead of archaeology is symbology. So it's literally Indiana Jones, but like with a little bit of a spin on it. So um, if you like Dan Brown, this book fits nicely. It's a very um, quick, easy, fun read. Um, I, I don't know, 600 pages isn't quick, but like it's easy to get into and it is a bit of a mystery thriller. So if you like Dan Brown, this book is for you. Remember to buy your books used or digital.